everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page four of Chow Bella Blooming. And we're going to start, we're going to have a left and right flap, and this flap is five and a half by eight, five and a half by eight. It's going to go on the uh, left hand side, five and a half by eight. <clears throat> far off. I'm going to straighten that up. Looks like it's too big too, so let me fix that real quick. I should have tried it before I applied it. It's a little bit too big. Set the right width now. Still a little bit too big. That ought to do it. Okay. All right. Thanks for your patience, guys. Let's get this straightened up. Okay, I'm gonna move that so it's keeping everything flat. And then this is three and a half by eight. Three and a half by eight. I should test it. It's also a little bit too long or tall. Three and a half by eight. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is from the eight by eight collection pack. And we can go ahead and put this down. This is the second half of that. Goes on this side. Okay, now we're going to add two photo cards and they're going to go here and here. Actually, we're going to cover this first <clears throat> here and here. And you're going to need two of these. These are three and a half by five and a half, three and a half by five and a half. But let's add our strip first and then we'll add those photo mounts. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack versus the backgrounds. I was tempted to put this side down, but I didn't. <clears throat> okay, we're going to bring this pattern back in on this side. But we're going to wait, we're going to hold off a little bit because we're going to add these photo mounts, and the photo mounts are, is 
the photo mounts are going to have the magnets on them so that when you close this and this closes on top we'll have magnets right here so let's get these placed first or generally located <clears throat> go about like that. Yeah, so we're looking for equal distance between these three lines. We can go ahead and add this. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack because the magnets are going to go on this side. So let's go ahead and cover these real quick. Um, I like to do that because I just want to see where the patterns fall on against each other. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. I think I probably need to trim these a little bit. I just... Yep. Shoot. I just remember they haven't been trimmed down. They were rough cut, but not trimmed. So it looks like I need to take about an eighth off height and width. I'll do that real quick. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's going to look lovely. So now I'm going to wait for this to dry and trim it. And what I'm looking for is an even border here and then basically the same space between the three. And that looks pretty darn close. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pencil mark here as my reference. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this and cut it. Just use my exacto uh, knife and and a ruler. Not exactly an exacto knife, but I like these because I don't ever have to go hunting for my um, blades when it's time to refresh like I do on my exacto knife. It'll get dull and then I can't remember where it where I love the blades. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I am a very messy crafter. I don't put things up. They, they tend to stay out. everybody's staying cool where you're at or we had a little bit of a swing and our temperature cooled off a little bit still crazy humid for California but a little cooler so either that or I'm acclimating which is quite possible okay so these are gonna go like that okay and then the last piece is 
this background, which I really liked. I thought it looked pretty. We're going to add, where's this piece? We're going to add this over here. Here it is. I put it back in my stack of scraps. So we're going to hold off because we need magnets, but we can go ahead and put this down. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. Thinking and working out loud. <clears throat> okay, just a reminder, we're on page four. Ciao, Bella. Blooming. Beauteous. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and sort of figure out roughly where we're going to put these magnets and then cover the back side. So right now I'm just looking at depth. I think it's going to be, I'll put this one in place right about there. So I'm going to put my magnet right about here. I'm just going to mark it real quick. And I'm going to use uh, two sets, one for each card. <clears throat> just roughly in the middle. And again, it's going to get covered with this, this green in just a moment. <clears throat> so that's about right. That should be about right. Let's double check that one more time. So what I'm looking for, let's put a magnet on top, is to make sure there's enough distance between the magnet and the edge so that when I put the paper on the other side, I don't have a gap or a bubble over the magnet. And that's going to be plenty of space. So that's my test run. Let's cover these. They need to be turned down too. They don't need to be the full length because part of it's going to be attached. I do want to make sure I'm gluing it on the right side. So that's the side that's going to be exposed. I'm just checking to make sure I've got my um, orientation correct. So in this case, I'm only going to turn the height. <clears throat> and part of this will be tucked under that flap. Okay, that looks good. I have to think for a second. Thank you. 
I'm just eyeballing all of this, so. And I laid them down upside down so I know where to put my glue. magnets on this side and have them taped over to the other side. So let's get some tape under each one of them. Okay, I, I like the way this turned out. I like these. This is pretty. I should have put a little bit of glue on there. Let's me slide it around just a little bit. Not cute. So there we go. I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can get an eraser or something. It looks like ink, but I don't have an ink pen on my desk. Or maybe it's just part of the print? I don't know. Hmm, not sure. Likely a photo will cover it. Here we go. I hope you guys like. This is page four. Blooming. See you soon.